So hi everyone and welcome to this video on ggplot for economics majors. So this video is uh, an introduction to how to graph using R and in particular it's how to uh, graph different economic variables in such a way that we can get a nice story or a nice intuition out of them. Uh, so we want to highlight relationships between variables and one way to do that is to be able to graph them properly. So if this is your first video on R, it's okay and it's very simple because uh, it's a good introduction to the R programming language as well. So uh, what we need for this, uh, for this uh, graphing exercise is to install this package tidyverse. I have it installed on my computer so all I need to do is to be able to load the required package and I can do that using the library command. So that's library tidyverse and I loaded the package. The first uh, thing that essentially we need to do is we need to load the data set. And uh, I'll name my data set as an object called data. So you can name it anything you want. And it's in CSV. Okay, so that's read underscore CSV. And uh, let's get the file. So the file is uh, from the World Bank and it's saved in my desktop. So that's a data set on consumption and productivity of the Philippines. So we loaded our data set here. So you'll notice data is here and you can see the data set by clicking on that grid icon there. And that's the data set. Or you can uh, bring up the first few rows of the data set using the head command. So head data, and those are your first rows. You can also view the last few rows of the data set using the tail command that's tail data. Now, if you'll notice, okay, there are, uh, there are missing observations there. So I want to remove the missing observations. So I want to remove the rows with missing observations. And I can do that using uh, the pipe function. So uh, I'll modify data using the pipe function and I can use this function called uh, remove. Okay, so uh, I can remove it uh, using the drop underscore NA command. And this should drop all the rows that have an A. So if you notice the data set now, uh, those rows, okay, so this was the head before, now it's this one. So it took out the row with the missing observation. So let's go to ggplot already. So a simple scatter plot. So let's do that first. Plot. So the command for ggplot is uh, ggplot, right? So ggplot. The first argument here should be your data set. So that's data, because our data set's name is data plus. Uh, the command for a scatter plot is jump point. So that's jump point. The, the different jump objects have like different graph uh, corresponding. Uh, so we'll have here jump point, which is a scatter plot, and we'll have mapping is equal to AES. Then we specify what's on our x axis. So I want it to be ln GDP per capita. Okay. And uh, on our y axis as well. So I want that to be ln consumption. And uh, we can run the command, and that gives us our scatter plot, and that's your first uh, graph in R. So it's pretty straightforward. We have consumption on the y-axis, um, and we have GDP on the x-axis, and we can see that there's a positive relationship between the two, as expected, because uh, countries with higher um, GDP per capita typically have greater uh, consumption levels as well. So this is, a, uh, this is our data set and it contains countries there. So uh, we can expect that relationship. Now, uh, while this may seem good, we can improve it further by adding colors, adding color and segments. So if you'll notice in our data set, apart from these variables, we also have region, we have the income group of the country and we have a classification for the country itself. So we can also try and weave that in our story. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll copy this and I'll just add one thing, okay, so which is I'll just add color. Okay, so LN consumption. And what I'll do is I'll just comma color. And if you'll notice in my data set, there's a variable called income group. So each country is part of a specific income group. So I can do that. And if I run this, you'll notice it will now show the income group. So for here, uh, in red or the high income countries, of course, expected to have high GDP per capita and high consumption. And you have your upper 
your lower and your low income countries. So pretty straightforward. If you don't want to change the color and instead want to change the shape, you can do that too. So we'll just modify instead of color, we'll use shape. And that should be it. And you'll have here shapes. Okay. Now, uh, one common thing to do, okay, one common thing to do in economics is to add a line of best fit. Okay, and essentially, uh, it, it's essentially what you can correspond to as something nearing a regression line. So a line of best fit. And what we can do that is we can just copy this. So say I want it segmented by color. And we can add another ggplot element. In this case, the command for that is jom ab line. And that will draw a line of best fit in the graph. It looks something like this. And you'll notice that graph there, that line there is shown. And that line has a positive slope. And it indicates the positive relationship between uh, GDP, the log of GDP per capita and the log of consumption. So we have those there. Okay. And... Uh, that's a nice way to represent the data because you, you can immediately draw that positive relationship between them. Now, uh, what we want now to do is we want to add okay, some labels. So if you're going to present it in, say, a paper or some essay, you need to label it properly. So, uh, so adding labels. Okay, so we're going to save this uh, command here that the graph that we just did as some object. Let's call it graph. Okay. And let's save that there. So I just copied that. Okay. So I just copied and we're just going to save it as that object as graph. Okay. Then we want to label, okay, that graph and we're going to use the print command. So print, we want our graph object that we just created plus gg title so this adds a title to the graph so let's do it income and welfare okay plus uh whoops i went overboard plus uh we can add labels to the y and the x axis so let our y axis that's consumption so that's log uh that's log uh uh sorry that's log of uh consumption there and then our x-axis, x is equal to uh, log of uh, GDP per capita. Okay, so we have log of GDP per capita and log of consumption. Then uh, let's add um, another one, which is plus lab. So a label for the legend. Okay, so if you notice, there's no space between income group there. So let's just add the space. So color color is equal to uh, uh, income group. Okay, and let's see if this runs. I think it should. There. So if you'll notice, we have a title. We have now labels, log of GDP per capita and log of consumption. Now, let's get a bit extra. Okay, so while this graph may already be good in explaining the relationship, let's go a little bit overboard and really pinpoint in on country so notice we have a variable called cc and that shows the country code and something cool that r can do is it can actually graph or it can actually put that text inside the graph so let's just copy this graph command here okay just just copy that uh actually uh let's be let's be more formal so i can actually teach the shorthand notation so let's create an object called extra and we want to graph this one and it's ggplot2 so we can write this entire thing but quite, it's kind of long in a, a shorter notation so the first argument is essentially your data set so that's data and we want it between uh, ln, LN uh, gdp per capita then we have ln consumption okay then we want to label okay, each point by their corresponding um, their corresponding country code, and we want also a color by income group. Okay, so let's have that. Plus, uh, let's add text to it. So job text, okay, because that's what's gonna add the labels, okay, per data point. So let's make it small size equals two h just is equal to zero and nudge underscore x is equal to 0 0.033 again you can change this whatever you like or you can even omit it since it's not 
it's optional and not necessary, then we also want to have our scatter plot there. So we don't need to repeat writing. R can figure that automatically. And we also want our regression line to be there. So we have John AB line. And we have that object, which is extra. Okay, then let's copy this print here command, this print command that we just did earlier. Let's copy that and let's paste it. Then we want to print instead of graph, we want to print extra. Okay, and we'll retain that label of the title and the X and the Y axis, but um, let's add a theme to it. So let's add a theme. So plus theme, okay, legend.position is equal to so we want to tell it to put the legend somewhere uh, somewhere uh, uh, in a specific location so it's just being extra so uh, that can do the trick so plus theme and let's see if it will run oops I think I made an error somewhere okay so let's just double check and let's see will this run okay print and okay, that solved the error. And you'll notice that we have a scatter plot when we have a title, our y axis, our x axis, and you can see the three letter country codes that are there. And that's how to do ggplot, an introduction to ggplot for economists in R.